Hello, everybody. This is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com. I am your GPR professor. Just finished up a, another very successful GPR boot camp. I'm in Los Angeles still. I uh, just finished up day two in a parking deck where we uh, did part of our practical on day two. And while we were here, I thought it'd be interesting to share a little kind of tip that uh, um, may be helpful for everybody. A lot of times when we do these parking decks, we have a very simplified kind of uh, uh, set of embedments. But in this parking deck, we actually had quite a complex set of embedments. A lot of tendons running all over this, this parking deck over here. A lot of tendons um, uh, holding this deck up. We're in the fourth or fifth level of this parking deck, the fourth level of the parking deck. And, um, and so we actually, these tendons were going in a variety of different directions, right? So as we're marking out using handheld high-frequency GPR, um, we had to mark, we didn't know which direction they're going. So we have to mark on the side and then X in the middle where the actual signal was. The problem was things got so messy with this mark out system, we came up with a good idea, which was, and it was really the students who did it, so I can't take the credit, but I can certainly give you what I learned from them, which is, we contrasted the color of the markings we made in the center, right, our X's from where our actual GPR recorded the response compared to when we nicked it on the sides, okay? So we nicked it on the sides in red, and then we X'd in blue. So when we went back to trace out each of these tendons, we had an actual uh, good location for it. So here is, I'll try to find an example here. It'll be hard to see, but... There are things going all sorts of directions. So here's one, okay, in blue, coming this way. Here's another one going that way. Here's another one going that way. Then we have two more coming this way. One, two, and actually a third one. So you can see when we were pushing the GPR in different directions in order to find where things were, we still had to mark on the sides of each each scan, okay? So we marked on the sides, it's in red, and we didn't know where things were going. So it got very confusing. We started out, here, I'll show you over here, exclusively in red, and it got very difficult to figure out what things were going where. So what we did was we went to red and blue, used two different colors. These were our nicks on the side, right? So we pushed the GPR this way, rolled it back, nick, nick, Right, rolled it back, nick, nick, rolled it back, that gave a little mark, gave a little mark, and then we X'd in blue, so later on we can follow the blue lines instead of concerned about which is going where with the red. So I hope this is helpful with you, uh, for you, and uh, if you find value in this, please share it around. Again, using the two colors was really helpful when we had so many different things going in all sorts of different directions. Um, we had to trace, uh, tra you know, trace them out and marked them out as part of uh, what we did at the practical. It was uh, a really good hands-on experience for our students. So, share the video, um, you know, hit the like button, and uh, uh, please subscribe to the channel or you know, follow the, the, the page, and uh, go to learngpr.com, put your name and email address, and we will send you videos like this every single week, right to your inbox, and if you are interested in additional training, then please go and sign up for one of our upcoming boot camps, it has tons of information that you'll get really take you to the next level. So thank you so much. Appreciate you watching. Talk to you soon.